Hey friends, we're out here today in Pigeon Forge in the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee. We've come out because we've come to this pretty unique theme park called Dollywood. Dollywood, Dolly, Dolly, Dolly Parton? Yeah, it's owned by Dolly Parton. How strange, but how cool is that? We've got a theme park that is top tier theme park as well. I see roller co like proper roller coasters here, like real themed lands, roller coasters, all that stuff, all owned by country music legend Dolly Parton. That is pretty insane. So we're gonna come out and we're gonna enjoy the day here, experience as many rides and roller coasters and things like that as we can. Um, I'm sure there'll be some Dolly Parton memorabilia here as well. So if there are any Dolly Parton fans watching this, enjoy that. I'm not a massive like know it all on Dolly Parton. I really don't know a lot at all. So it'll be interesting to see some of this stuff and I'm sure there'll be like a history lesson or something like that as to why she owns a theme park because I really do want to know. Um, but hopefully you guys do enjoy the video throughout and if you do, give us a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot and it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. Let's go and enjoy some country music and roller coasters. As soon as we come in, we've got uh, photographers here taking pictures in front of the Dollywood logo. And we've got the turnstiles. It's quite a picturesque kind of place. To me, Becky and I were saying this kind of feels a little bit like Knott's Berry Farm in California. Got very similar vibes to it. Oh, this is really feeling familiar. Dollywood Emporium. Then you've got the Palace Theatre just over there. As we come in, they're taking pictures in front of the, uh, the Dollywood sign. It's looking fantastic. Oh, this is interesting. If you've got preferred parking, you've got a separate entrance and exit, which is, uh, that's good. Preferred and bus parking. Spotlight Bakery. Show Street Ice Cream. Big queue for lemonade. Oh, what's this? There's a little show going on. wayside in recent years. It's called Travis Pickin. The guy by the name of Merle Travis is credited with inventing this style. You probably hadn't heard of him, but some of y'all may have heard of a guy by the name of Chet Adkin. He was really famous for using this style. Tommy's going to show it off. <laughs> Here's Cannonball Rag and Nine Pound Hammer. One, two, three. So I think, I think we're on our way to Lightning Rod as our first roller coaster. We we're just speaking to one of the team members and this opened us the fastest wooden roller coaster in the world. That's what he was saying to us. It's really like cutesy, old timely. Oh, <laughs> I found Lightning Rod. <laughs> that looks insane. Right. Oh, it's right here, Lightning Rod. So unfortunately, lightning rod just went down as we were getting onto the platform, which is unfortunate, but it's what it is, it's what it is. We'll see what the rest of the operations are like today. Uh, when we came in, Big Bear Mountain was also temporarily down, so, I don't know, Rampage? Smoky Mountain Rampage? That's a uh, river raft ride. I think we're going to do this. Rapids, rapido, rapido. Rampage, river rampage. It doesn't look too rampagey. 
not quite like uh, Popeye and Bluto's Bill Drap Barges. It also doesn't look too well themed either. Once again, like Popeye and Bluto's Bill Drap Barges. But I'm still quite excited for it. We like the rapid rides. <laughs> One ride down, success. Lightning rod still closed, so we're moving on. Uh, Snaking out in River Rampage. We walked onto it, it's five minute wait, and it was very cute. I enjoyed, I really enjoyed. It wasn't as well themed as we expected. Or, well, it wasn't well themed, I did expect that. But, some of the drops were really good and we got quite wet and uh, that's the point, right? Rapid rides, you want to get wet. So we're, we're happy with that, we're happy. We were with this, uh, a couple of old couples and uh, they were hilarious. They got drenched really drenched compared to us uh, it was it was interesting so we're gonna go and find another ride now and uh, just keep exploring Becky wants to go to Dolly's mountain home I think it's coming up so we're gonna go there see if we see any Dolly memorabilia there's a lot of Dolly merchandise rightfully so uh, we're a little bit like lost you know it's not the most easy park to navigate Ooh, dogs in taters dogs and taters dogs in 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 taters i think this is dolly's mountain lodge i think we're finding out yeah oh that's cute it's a proper mountain lodge Oh, it's got a sign. Oh, cute. This is really cute. So the little lodge here is a replica, essentially, of how Dolly Parton lived when she was a wee little lass. Um, so, you know, she's, she's come a long way. Working nine to five. She's really made a living out of it. There's also a train. The Dollywood Express. as well. The water flume is a man-made elevated river to carry the power that the water creates in its ever-flowing stream throughout the valley and village. So we're in the country fair land I believe. I think that's what we're where we're heading. Country fair and the village. Country fair and the village Becky's saying. Oh we got a little spinny flat ride and lots of pumpkins as well. Ooh pumpkin people. Ooh. Look at this pumpkin person. This is very cool. Heading into the country fair. Welcome to the country fair. Caution, steep hill. There is actually a really steep hill. This would be fun if you've got a wheelchair and you're pushing somebody down it. That'd be very interesting. It's just a really cutesy area. The whole area kind of feels like uh, Main Street USA and Frontierland at Disney. It's, it's nice. It's really nice. I feel like this is all like those games. Country Fair is very much looking like a little uh, kids area with smaller rides. Shooting star. Sky Rider.
very much just small flat rides in here. See what I mean? We've got the uh, amazing flying elephants. Yeah. You've got uh, Dizzy Disc, Lemon Twist. Yeah, so they're all just very simple flat rides, really, around here. It's not, that's not any detriment. They need them. You need these rides and parks to satisfy like, little kids and stuff. It's such a cute little park. This this feels like ghost town in Knott's Berry Farm. Granny Olga's ham and beans country cooking at its best. Oh, they're doing that leather thing, making your belt and uh, hand engraved key ring. Interestingly, this this uh, water way has gone like all the way through the land so far. Tempting, tempting, Smoky Mountain Christmas store. Let's go. Let's let's leave it. Let's leave it. So yeah, this this waterway has been going all the way through the land. It's gone out of the land down to the uh, the rapids, hillside general store and post office, sand casting. Oh, oh, they're doing uh, glass blowing and stuff in there. I think. It's a blacksmith. Blacksmith, sorry, not glass blowing. So this gentleman here, I think, is making his own knife. Railroad spike knife is $100. Horseshoe knife is $65. And then a bolt knife is $35. Very cool. Pumpkin decorations, like pumpkin lights. We're gonna go to Daredevil Falls, apparently. Another water ride. We're quite mad, actually. Do two water rides in a row. Some interesting ride vehicles. You've got two to the side. It looks like a roller coaster, but in log balloon form.
this fast. I go scared. American Bald Eagles, the world's largest exhibition of non-releasable American Bald Eagles. Eagle Mountain. And then, if we, it might be tricky to, to see them, but they're sort of like in the central pane there. There's a few of them just chilling on the side of the mountain. They're actually kind of, they're everywhere to be fair, in there. There's one there. A few at the back on the fence. So what did you think of the splashdown on Daredevil Falls then? Uh, it, was, it was interesting, I'm sort of still pretty uh, drenched. Um, Great Pumpkin Luminites. This is a nighttime walkthrough, I think, where pumpkins light up. It starts on the 20th of September. 20th of September. Runs through till Halloween? Uh, yeah, 30th. 30th of October, there we go. Halloween events here at Dollywood. Uh, oh. Wow, Wings of America it's showbirds. Showing up it's showing up. Bald eagle. It's like, look at my wings, right? So this is the bald eagle. This is what we just saw up there a second ago. You've got the turkey vulture. We unfortunately have just missed him showing off to everybody. Oh, her soon after her hatching in 2008. Lily. Uh, black vulture's not in there. Oh, one is. This is Buzz, the black vulture. Red-tailed hawk. Harris hawk. Our next ride is gonna be Blazing Fury. Uh, this is an indoor roller coaster. We're going into the Silver Dollar Mining Company. Currently posted at a zero minute wait. Lightning rod is still temporarily closed. Big Bear Mountain's 20 minute wait. Busy day here at Dollywood. I did enjoy that. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh, that was good. Blazing Fury. It was more of a dark ride than a roller coaster. It was on a roller coaster track. It was, yeah, don't get me wrong, it was a roller coaster. But like the first 75% of the ride was a dark ride. We were going through this village that was basically caught on fire. And, um, you know, there were animatronics. I'm gonna use the term animatronics very, very, very loosely. They're basically just mannequins that were bobbing forward. Just doing you that. are mean. It was a good ride. Am I wrong? You're mean. Am I wrong? <laughs> I thought they were very lifelike. <laughs> it was so cool though. And we love a new dark ride, no matter what. Even yeah. if it's crap, we love it. That was, uh, it was good, it was good. Um, and then like towards the end you had like a little bit of a uh, roller coaster, a couple of drops, that was it, done. It was good. I enjoyed it. Becky enjoyed it. We're now heading a little bit deeper into Dollywood. We're sort of towards the back of the park now. It's a really awkward layout this park because it's, it's very long and you can't really just go from here to here. You have to go around. Uh, Tennessee Tornado. I think that's the one we're going to do next. Looks like a roller coaster. Sounds like a roller coaster. Feels like a roller coaster. I think it's a roller coaster. What happens yeah. when a mighty twister sweeps through Old Tennessee Mining Company? Locals say the swirling winds twisted ore into what we now call the Tennessee Tornado. A force of nature all of its own. The triple spiral looping coaster makes you feel like you've landed inside a funnel cloud as you zoom down a 128 foot drop through an actual mountain at speeds nearing 70 miles an hour. It's enough to make local weather forecasters issue a Tennessee tornado warning. Oh, that sounds good. 
They've all got these actual like full length descriptions as well, like you'd have at Disney. And uh, this is the uh, pumpkin luminites light in, I believe. Tennessee tornado. That was really, really good. Uh, very quick. One minute 48, she said, and that's including the lift hill. So look at this femen. Look at this femen. That's incredible. It really is incredible. We are probably going to go on Fire Chaser Express now. Uh, so Fire Chaser Express. It's like a, another roller coaster. We've actually got quite a few roller coasters here. We've got a big one over the back there. That looks interesting. That's the eagle one, Becky's saying. So we lied, we're gonna do Wild Eagle next. It's a winged coaster, it kinda of looks a bit like Swarm at Thorpe Park. That's a tall incline. Although Swarm at Thorpe Park inverts as it goes over, so I'm not sure. This is completely like that, but it says soar to new heights. Wild Eagle is a high thrill attraction. This wing coaster consists of speeds up to 61 miles an hour, 190 feet lift hill with 135 vertical drop, four inversions and up to 4.5 G-forces and 0.3 negative Gs. Wild Eagle was pretty wild. Great lift hill on there. Very, very good incline. Um, Inversion, a couple of inversions. I do like the winged coasters like that. It, they're just, they're just a lot of fun. So this is our next one. Even more pumpkin. Ah, oh, draw me like one of your French pumpkins. <laughs> I love it. Even more theming around the top here of Trowside Snacks. Splinters Trowside Snacks. Love the little houses around the top. The pumpkins as well. Look at this guy. Right in the middle. What an interesting carb in there. The wild eagle just cresting over the back there. Such a good ride. There it goes. We did front row on that, but we weren't allowed to go for it. Fire Chaser Express. What a well themed load bay and queue area this is. You've got an old school fire truck there. You've got the fire station, number seven. Fire Chaser Express. We 
was really well themed for a roller coaster. You don't often see really well themed roller coasters, but that had theming all around the outside of it. Uh, and then about three quarters of the way through, there was actually a proper show scene, which was fantastic with fire effects and movement and all sorts. It was, it was, it was great. It was great. I really enjoyed that ride. Um, would 100% do it again. It's dead here today. So that was only like a five minute wait. Just really like missioning through the rides today. So we're doing fantastic. Have you seen this bear? If you see him, contact Ned Oakley at the outpost. This is a nice little relaxing area. You can see Wild Eagle just a little bit in the back there. You got the fountain. More like a geyser than a fountain, really. Wild Eagle is going to be coming up over the lift hill in just a second. The park is really clean as well. Really clean, really tidy, really, really well maintained. Loads of places to sit. We're having what some might say is the best day ever. And there is Wild Eagle going over. Amazing theming. Now going into Timber Canyon. And this will be our next ride. I don't know what it's called. Mine something. Mine something. Something, something, mine, something. It's got a very similar ride vehicle to Saw. It doesn't have the same vertical drop though, I don't think. Or does it? Or near vertical drop, that I can see. So this one is called Mystery Mine. This indoor outdoor roller coaster consists of high speeds, extreme heights, two vertical drops, the tallest being 85 feet and a 95 degree weightless inversion, strong side to side movements up to four times G forces. Okay, this may actually be like Saw then. As I said, same ride vehicles. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I never seen no purple mountains. Who makes this stuff up? Uh, oh, <clears throat> oh, howdy, folks. Yep, this is indeed America, home of the brave. Down the road is the potato shack, restaurant of the brave. <laughs> and just over yonder is Beaver Creek, home of the uh, Tablet Beaver. <laughs> Mystery Mine was a very good ride in terms of theming. Very, very rough. My ears hurt, Becky is saying exactly the same. Ears, head, got a headache after that. But, it's the same ride system, I think, as Saw at uh, Thought Park. And I really enjoy Saw at Thought Park. I enjoy the theming of Saw at Thought Park. Becky and I were saying a little, a little while back that like we're quite like, forgiven of new places when we come to new places and not so much of the Merlin Park but I think that is correct firstly because we see it each and every single day but I think the thing that really irks us the most about the Merlin Parks is maintenance and theming so um, our go-to maintenance check at Legoland is uh, Fairytale Brook and more often than not it's not very well maintained um, theming, you know, Thought Park in particular, 
Swarm is a good theme actually, Saw is a good theme, um, but Colossus is like, let's just build a biggest inversion coaster for the sake of building it. Uh, Nemesis, not great theming compared to like Alton Towers one, you know, so things like that, but I think so far what we've seen with this park, like each ride has been like really well themed. Mystery Mine had a whole pre-show and then there was a second element where it had, um, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but there was a second element where there was a lift hill and you're facing uh, disaster happening around you, basically. And that was so, like you were in the pitch black of, um, of, of, this, of this lift hill, but you had so much theming around you that was pulling you in. And you just don't have that on some of the some of the Merlin coasters because they went through that phase of just let's do a record for the sake of a record. Uh, they're getting better at it now. They are getting better with uh, with Saw, with uh, Wicker Man. You know things like that are, are you know moving them in that right direction. But uh, we need to continue with the theme because that's what makes a theme park a theme park. Hey, Future Lee here. So we had to split the Dollywood video into two parts. Uh, as you saw, it was getting a little bit long there. Dollywood is a pretty insane park. The theming so far that we've had has been absolutely fantastic. We've had a good time exploring the park and we've got a lot more coming up in part two. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed part one and if you have enjoyed it, do give us a thumbs up, do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot and it would be great if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks.